Welcome to my studio. My name is Jennifer Hawkins Connolly and I'm the art teacher at Joseph Charter School. Well, with all the changes that we've had, I'm going to be experimenting with filming a lesson from here, or at least from my own home studio, and that's what you see around here. I do a lot of different things. I paint, I sculpt, I do many different art forms. And today what we're going to be doing is working on collage techniques. So, what in the heck is a collage? A collage is an assemblage of many different types of generally paper, but it's not limited to paper, and put together in hopefully an artful way to form a work of art. So, a few things that you're probably very familiar with that have used collage are like children's books. So this is a paper behind and then cut paper on top put together to illustrate this children's book. Another really favorite children's book um, author is Eric Carle and he uses lots of collage. And <laughs> anyway, you're probably all familiar with The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So what do we need to begin? First off, what we're going to need is some sort of glue or paste. This is homemade paste. Just made that up this morning. It's easy. I'll tell you about the recipe later. And other things that work just fine are Elmer's wet glue. I usually mix a little bit of water with this just to make flow better, not a whole lot. And we're going to need some sort of container to put it in so we can get it out of really easily. And little water. Some people like using a brush to apply the paste. I like using my hands. And uh, then you need all kinds of paper and something to put it on. So in looking around my studio I have all kinds of stuff right in front of me. I've got newspaper down to protect my floor and also it's a great source to work with. Went to the r, &R recently and I thought well look at that paper. That's really cool. So I cleaned it off, yes, cleaned it off first. Old wrapping paper, great stuff. Magazines, so I have a bunch of cut images from magazines. My little studio helper here. And you know all that lovely tissue paper that comes in packages? Whew. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a pack rat. Not as so. much as sun people though. Yeah. So I'm going to show you really quick a few other examples. This is a piece where I've just cut out papers that have been painted on and glued them down to form a cover to a book. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I love these Willowa County Discover ones. They have lots of great pictures for magazines, National Geographic. Those are all good. And for my art students. If you don't have one of these, these are cool. I collect pictures. So I collect all kinds of pictures. Anything that captures my interest. Just for such occasions. I collect other types of papers and so forth. This is a cut through where I've just cut and then I put paper behind it. It's a form of collage. And this little book I made at a workshop. Here's just solid pieces of colored paper, or you can cut solid pieces of color out of magazines and paste them together to form a collage. Here are my little thumbnails before I actually worked on this piece of clover. So I thought about it first and planned it out. So older kids, you may want to do this a little bit. Younger kids, not so much. So I'll put that one back there. Now you need something to work on. So you need something to put these down on. I used, as I started, almost anything will work. I just cut pieces of cardboard out. So these couple of collages I've started, these are the bases for them. I just cut cardboard out and covered it with newspaper. I kind of like to do both sides because it comes out more flat then. And also, for the older grade school students, you might start thinking about, as you find pictures 
and magazine things you might start noticing that maybe they're coming together as images that would go together. This came out of a flyer out of the most recent um, Chieftain and I just started ripping out words and images and so forth and put them together. You can see it's kind of topical for our times. So um, for third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade on up, if you start seeing themes come together, great, go with it. For the younger kids, just learning how to do the collage technique is all I'm looking for on this. So let me start out with a piece of cardboard. Now you can use other things too. You could use cereal boxes and, yep, don't make him sick, Gabriel. Oh, by the way, my cameraman is Gabriel. Take a bow, Gabriel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you may have these things at home too. This is just hardboard. Masonite. Yep, to masonite. Be specific. Yeah, hardboard. It works beautifully well because then it doesn't give. So it's whatever you've got handy. This one I just put some white paint over the top of it to make it white. So these don't move at all. These will work a little bit. So to get started. I've got my paste. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Like I said, I like to put my hands into it. Now, other pastes may be a, a little thinner. Like Elmer's glue, you can paint it on with a big old brush. Not a little fussy one, a great big brush. You can paint that on your surface first. I like to cover the whole thing. And then start looking for images. I like to cover the whole thing first and then build up from there. So. Again, this is out of the newspaper. I like ripping things too. Don't like that straight edge. I want to get rid of straight edges. But look at this, how cute. Smaller person feeding the chickens. So all I need to do is press it down, roll it down, and then I'm going to put a little paste over the top. Again, you can do this with a brush. I like taking them and wrapping the edges too. So, a little bit of paste down. Put some over to the back. And you can press out air bubbles and so forth. So, now I've got a base going. Onto this, I can add a lot of other things. So, I had a gardening catalog. So I'm kind of thinking about themes. Let's see if I can get something over here without my cat getting me. Yes. Here are some vegetables. Now it's paste all down, so I don't have to put any more down. I can just put it down and put a little paste over the top, too, to seal it in there. We want to make sure that we don't have little edges that are coming up. So I like her face, so I'm going to hang on to that. Not sure about that part, so I'm going to put some over this. You may want to make two or three collages and just experiment first with this and then think about how you're going to organize things. Particularly because they are so quick and easy to make individually. Oh, there's a wonderful sunflower. Overlapping. And as for a professional example, Oh, well, thank you. Yes, here's one that I made. It's using sheet music. Thank you, Mrs. Holman, for the sheet music. And this one is the mountains. I believe the title was The Mountains Sing. And so the sheet music is making up a lot of the mountains. And then I used another paper, just brown old paper bag, crinkled it up, glued it down, and then a little bit of paint over the top and the back. You can see some of that brown paper coming through right there. So, back to this one. What we want to do is cover all this board. And you can cover up some of the things. You can add things to it. Words are wonderful if you've got something that goes along with it. Kind of like this. Look, there's a thank you. What are you thankful for? You can use scissors and cut things out. One thing to avoid, unless it works beautifully and looks pretty, is straight edges. Avoid straight edges. Okay, we're gonna put thank you down here. Take a little paste, go over the top. And 
Let's see, what else shall we put in? I could even put thankful. Find other letters and make thankful. Things that one is thankful for. Yes, this will be a little messy. You want to wrap it around both sides, too. Yeah. And if you don't want it to warp too much, like I said, you can cover the whole back side, too. And what's fun, too, is you can just keep layering and layering and putting more layers on top of more layers. When you're done, or even in between, Hello, junior high students. Hopefully you've watched that last piece on how to put a collage together. Now for your assignment, what I would like you to do is to review the Scholastic Arts magazine that we read previously on Beyond the Selfie. You'll be able to find that online and I'll give you more information a little later. It'll be sent to you. Anyway, review that, watch the videos, and the first half of the project they have in there is what we're going to be doing. So you'll be taking a photograph of yourself and working with it. So what we're going to be doing is looking at collage. And let me show you some examples. Here is an image in which I cut pieces out, reversed them, and out of a magazine, reverse them, layer different images together to come up with this composite um, collage. So you guys are going to want to think about what you would like to be doing in your collage for yourself. Get somebody to photograph you and make a print of it and then use that. Now, things that you can do that are fun. Architectural magazines. Let's turn it right side up. Kind of boring, but they have great opportunities. Here we go with a fireplace and a window. Let me show you some of the fun things we can do with ideas like this. You might have people or yourself coming out of the fireplace, emerging. Maybe someone's coming out of the picture frame. Remember some of the fun, silly stuff we did with the when we were matting your self-portraits? Anyway, that sort of idea. You can play around with it. So look for the opportunities in magazines. Here's one that I cut out with a X-Acto knife or one of those snap knives. So I got in a lot of detail. This is one image out of a magazine. And you can see it looks pretty nice here on just a plain background. You can get a little fancier with it. Yeah, here's this sheet of paper from the R&R. &R. Cleaned it off. And you can see what it looks like with a different kind of background on it. And you can try different things out. Here is a sheet out of a magazine with coral seas. So you can see how I can layer that up and make it look interesting. Now you can imagine yourself if you were this statue. So you need to put yourself in there, play with it, have fun. You can use almost any kind of thing in your collage. It can be very surreal or it might be real. I will have other videos listed in the assignment that you can watch that will give you even more ideas and show you different professional artists and how they handle these things and techniques. And I look forward to seeing what you do. I do have the um, copy portraits that you did your self-portraits from. So if you need one of those, just send me an email and we'll figure out how to get it to you. Um, I look so forward to seeing what you create. And um, so send it to me at my email. It'll be in the assignment sheet. Be sure and check your student emails. And you should be getting information through those in the next day or so. Thank you. Bye.